The year is 1566. Suleiman the Magnificent ruled the Ottoman Empire for 46 years. He conquered vast lands in North Africa, Hungary and Mesopotamia and made his empire one of the most powerful in the world. He was the longest serving sultan of the Ottomans and he oversaw a population of at least 25 million people. He passed away at the age of 71, shortly before his army achieved a victory at the siege of Sigetvar in Hungary. Suleiman had many sons who could inherit his throne, but only one of them survived to see his father's death. This is the tragic story of Suleiman's sons. Roxolana was a slave girl who was captured by Crimean Tatars and brought to Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire. She joined the imperial harem, where she got a new name, Hurem, and a new destiny. She quickly rose to the top and became the most beloved consort of Sultan Suleiman. Suleiman was a sultan who often left the palace to lead his army and conquer new lands. He personally commanded 13 military expeditions in his 46-year rule and spent more than 10 years on the battlefield. Shehzada Abdullah was the second son Sultan Suleiman had with Hurem. He was three years old when he got smallpox. The mortality of the severe form of smallpox was very high without vaccination, up to 35% in some outbreaks. Abdullah died in Constantinople at the age of three. Suleiman and Hurem Sultan had their first son, Shehzada Mehmed, in the old palace, while Suleiman was on a campaign to Rhodes. His birth was celebrated with sacrifices and arms in the camp. He was educated in the Topkapi Palace with his father's support. He was Suleiman's second and most beloved son and he was chosen as his heir, breaking the tradition. In 1542, Mehmed became the governor of Manisa. This was a prestigious position that was normally reserved for the Sultan's eldest son. Suleiman married Hurem, Mehmed's mother, in a formal ceremony, which was unprecedented for a Sultan. This implies that he wanted to legitimize Mehmed's status and protect him from potential rivals. Mehmed began his duties formally as governor soon after his arrival to Manisa. His mother, however, didn't accompany him to his provincial post, although that was the custom. Shehzada Mehmed fell ill in Manisa. He died shortly after probably of smallpox. To honor Mehmed, Suleiman erected the prince's mosque in Istanbul. He crowned Mehmed's tomb with a throne, a unique gesture among all the graves of sultans and princes. He also wrote a mournful poem for Mehmed and concluded with the words, most distinguished of the princes, my sultan Mehmed. Mahidavran was listed among the 17 women of the harem of Suleiman while he was the governor of Manisa. Mustafa was born in 1515. Suleiman and Mahidavran's only son who lived to be an adult. When Suleiman's father died in 1520, he moved to Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, along with his family to ascend the throne. When Mustafa was 19, he was sent to Manisa as governor, the traditional position for Sultan's eldest sons, and his mother accompanied him. After seven years in the role, Mustafa and his mother Mahidevran were sent to another providence, Amasya. He was replaced by Mehmed, Suleiman's favorite son. When he arrived in Amasya, Mustafa received a letter from his father. Suleiman had assigned him to Amasya to protect the eastern border of Anatolia and to train him in ruling a vast empire, not to exclude him from the succession. The letter's content reassured the Ottoman army and the Anatolian people who favoured Shehzada Mustafa as the next sultan. 
during his time in Amasya, Mustafa got the news of the death of his brother Mehmed. It seemed like all barriers between the throne and Mustafa were gone, but he still faced another challenge. Huram's oldest surviving son was sent from Konya to Manisa instead. In 1549, as a reward for his excellent participation in the Ottoman Safavid War, Mustafa moved to Konya for his next assignment. Huram and her son-in-law plotted against the aspiring heir Mustafa. He had unwittingly given them a pretext by frequently meeting with foreign envoys and Ottoman generals without his father's consent, and they used that to slander him. Mustafa was summoned to join his father's army for the next eastern campaign. When he came to his father's tent to greet him, Suleiman's guards assaulted Mustafa. He fought back, but he was eventually killed. Suleiman and Huram's youngest son was Jay Hangir. He suffered from health problems and had a hunched back. He was not given a governorship role in any province because his physical condition was considered unfit for leadership and perhaps also because he required medical care. Jihangir was the most pampered and cherished child in the family due to his disability. He was very close to his father and accompanied him on several military campaigns. In the third Iran expedition, Jihangir together with his father departed from Istanbul and reached Konya, where Shehzade Mustafa also arrived with his troops. Mustafa was strangled by their father's guards, which was a shock for Jihangir. He struggled with grief as well as chronic health issues for the rest of the journey to the east and died in Aleppo. His body was brought back to Istanbul and buried next to his older brother Shehzade Mehmed in the Prince's Mosque. Suleiman and Huram's fifth son, Bayezid, was born in 1527 in Constantinople. As a court rule, Shehzades were appointed to govern a province in order to gain administrative experience and Bayezid became the governor of Kutaya. However, during his father's campaign to East in 1553, he was assigned to rule in Constantinople, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, in the absence of his father. During that campaign, Shehzade Mustafa, Suleiman's eldest son and the popular heir to the throne, was executed upon the Sultan's order. After the execution of Mustafa, Bayezid became the popular heir among the army. Huram died in 1558 due to an unknown illness. Suleiman's one and only love was gone. When Suleiman reached his 60s, a protracted competition for the throne between Bayezid and his brother Selim became evident. Suleiman tried to change their governorships to keep them away from Constantinople. But Bayezid hesitated to obey, which angered his father. Suleiman accused Bayezid of being a rebel and supported his elder son Selim against him. Selim defeated his young brother in a civil war at Konya in May 1559. Bayezid fled to the Safavid Empire with his sons and a small army. He reached Tabriz, where he was welcomed by the Shah. However, the Shah later imprisoned him at the request of Sultan Suleiman. Suleiman and Selim sent many envoys to Persia to persuade the Shah to kill Bayezid. They also gave him money and gifts. Finally, Bayezid and his four sons were handed over by the Shah and executed immediately by an Ottoman executioner. They were buried in Sivas. Selim was Suleiman and Huram's fifth son. He did not receive any training or mentoring from his father, who had other sons who were more qualified and capable. He spent his time in the harem, enjoying women and wine. Selim became the Sultan only after his father executed or outlived all of his brothers, leaving him as the sole survivor. On the 6th of September 1566, Suleiman, 
who had set out from Constantinople to command an expedition to Hungary, died before an Ottoman victory at the siege of Sigidvar in Hungary at the age of 71. His Grand Vizier kept his death secret during the retreat for the enthronement of Selim. The Sultan's body was taken back to Istanbul to be buried. Selim handed over almost all of his power to his Grand Vizier and often asked his wife for advice. He concluded a peace treaty with the Holy Roman Empire in 1568, which granted the Ottomans authority in Moldavia and Wallachia. He conquered Cyprus from the Venetians in 1570, which increased the Ottoman dominance in the Mediterranean. But he faced a naval defeat by the Holy League at the Battle of Lepanto. He restored the status and wealth of Mahidevran Hatun, his father's concubine, and his brother Mustafa's mother, who had been neglected by his father. He also built a tomb for Mustafa. Selim slipped and died from a head injury after falling on a marble floor while inebriated in 1574. 